So this is the water, is only about 30 inches. And if you can see the gauge there, you'll see that she's bouncing a little bit. She's going from 30, we're now heading up to 40 inches, that's 40 column inches of water, okay? Now we're pushing 50 column inches of water. Now I'm about 55, 50, about 55, 54 inches, column inches of water, okay? All right, now I'm at 60 column inches of water. Now the spray's really good, but check this out. I'm gonna stop putting in the water. No more water going in. Watch the water drop in this tube here, that, in the big tube. Notice it's dropping down, but watch the spray. Still quite, quite adequate. Still got way lots and lots of overspray. You see that? We're doing just fine on the spray. We're definitely going six foot high. The interesting thing, I'm now down at about, oh, that's four feet. I'm at 40 inches. The water's going down. When I say down, we're talking about in that three inch pipe there, because this is what gives the head. See the water there? It's going down. Look at my sprayer. Now it's just starting to struggle to get to the six foot mark. And that is at 40, 35 to 40 inches. So wow, if I can get this thing to work on 30 inches, that would really increase the volume. Because what I get out of this regenerative blower here is that at 50 inches, I get 20 cubic feet per minute. If I go down to, on a chart, if you look in the catalog, you'll see that if you go down to 40, you double it. I get oh, oh, about 30 cubic feet, okay? If you go down to 20, then you got 40 cubic feet. Now it's getting piddly, okay? But folks, this is working right down to about 30 inch column inches of water, it was working. Now we're down low, okay? So just to reiterate, I'm gonna run it up again. Here comes the water. And let's see how many inches we have to have to get six foot. You give me a tape measure, great. That's it, right there. Okay, hold on a sec, yeah. So I'm gonna go in there and measure that for us.